Hey everybody, I am APH and welcome back to a game highly inspired by Bob Ross himself, The Final Frontier. Now it has been highly requested that I do a housing guide for this game, and I have to say that a housing guide is extremely difficult as how you build your houses will greatly depend on your difficulty setting and the map that you're on. But what I can do is help you with desirability and show you how I set up my town for this particular map. Just taking a look at the desirability of this section right here, we're going to take a look at the end because I have some plans and we'll kind of go over that at the end. But if we take a look right now, our desirability is anywhere from 78 up to 111. And we're going to do a little bit of improvement for that but the first milestone that you're looking for is roughly 30 for them to upgrade from the shelter into the first level the homestead i believe the area that i build in is a 28 by 28 the way that you can see it is if you take the crop field you can kind of set this on your corner and you can kind of drag it to the size that you want it so you can kind of drag it and you can see the size of your area. So what we're looking for is 28 by 28, roughly that size right there. Thankfully, it won't let you build this, but you can at least see the size under the, the field size there. Now that we've talked about the size of this area, I reset out the roads. Now the roads themselves, I believe it is 25 labor for the segment. Let me grab a road real quick and let me just draw it in yeah 25 labor is what it would cost to do a road now we need to do the houses themselves so under the houses and well under housing thought it was under houses in and shelter but i leave a two gap now the reason i leave a two gap is i put some decorations there these ones are the garden pass i do vary it up a little bit so leave two place a house leave two and this one will go right on the corner and then again you turn this one to match the road leave two this side right here you just place them matching and then this house is back to back on this side again facing the road leave your gap of two and then on this side again facing the road and these ones are again back to back facing the road and then we rotate the pattern and we fix the house that i put in the wrong spot because i am clicker happy some days leave a comment down below if you get clicker happy from time to time all right let's get this one facing the road there and let's get these last couple in now there are certain decor items that you can place multiple of that get multiple bonuses there are certain decor items that you can put in that you only get one bonus so the first decor item that we're going to put in is an, an amenity item that helps with desirability that is the market and we're going to place that right in the center and we're leaving you're going to see that there's a little bit of room there that is because we're going to put some decorations around that the second item that we're going to put in that helps with desirability is the well again that is under resources and it's in a really goofy spot the well gives roughly five desirability so we're going to place one well for every group of houses and we're just going to place them right in the center of the this little grouping here that's one there and one here now once the well and the the market are upgraded to their tier two variants which if you're playing the game for any length of time you'll be upgrading them this is roughly 20 desirability worth of decor and in order to get the 30 we need just a touch more so let's go ahead and get some decor items i'm thinking that we go ahead and go with the medium garden it's kind of my favorite as it upgrades into a nice brick variant and we're just going to throw them in the, the blocks in between nice two gap there is so it kind of matches it and we're just going to go all the way around and then what i'll do is i'll let time play out i'll let everything build and i'll bring you back and show you kind of the finished product once this is all built and the the town hall and the wells are all upgraded to their level two variants so give me one second and we'll be right back and we're back so flash forward about an hour and a half and a rate of 150 people this is what it looks like fully completed if we take a look at the desirability you can see that the low end is 33 and the high end is 43 and that is just with the medium gardens they're not upgraded the well is upgraded to the improved well and the market is upgraded to the market square and this is kind of the setup that i go with from here some things that you can do is under the build menu you can add 
add some decorations to make it even better. The small plaza can be built under roads, but the thing about the small plaza being built under roads is you want to upgrade to the cobble road before you add them in. It's a little bit tricky to upgrade the road after is if we went over here to this area over here and we clicked on it, you can see it wants to click on the small plaza instead of clicking on the cobble road itself. According to the developers, this is an intended thing that you can build the cobble road and the plazas together. It's, uh, it's funny, I could grab this road, but I couldn't grab this one over here. I may not have added the plazas over here. Let me go ahead and take a look and see if I added the plazas over here. I know I had a bad save that caused me to have to reload at some point in time. I have not built the all of the plazas over here, so we're, we're going to end up with a little bit higher uh, desirability over here. But this is kind of what this area looks like, pretty much finished with the exception of the plazas underneath. And you can see that we ended up with 117 and 127 back over to this area over here. Uh, so there are a few things that don't overlap. So I do want to cover those real quick. And there are a few things that I have not tested. The large park does not. Uh, you can see that by adding a large park, it would bring a lot of this up between 48 and 55. It's pretty solid. But if we go down here to where I have a, a large park already built, uh, you can see that that's in the 40 to 45 range. But if I bring this in, you're going to see that it doesn't do anything. We've got a healer right here. And if I go to the healer's hut under amenities, uh, you can see that the healer will not add a bonus. You can see they all stay the same. But if I come up here to where I have my hospital, you can see that we're getting a bonus from having a a healer and the hospital. We do have a school right here. So if we were to take a look, we're 109 right now with the, the school that is currently there. If we were to grab a school, you can see we don't get an added bonus to that. We have a bar, a pub. I always want to call it a bar, but we have a pub right here. And it's something that I plan on taking out because I don't really care for the bar fights. But you can see that this also does not get a, a boost so we can add it over here where we don't currently get the buff but we can't add it over here where we currently have it and last one that i know for sure is the theater and the theater has a pretty big radius it only services 20 or 30 houses and this right here is 28 houses uh, so you can see that the the ones that are extremely close will get a, a ways away you can see 44 is this house right here until we get like right on top of it you can see that it doesn't really change and i believe i don't know that i have an area that doesn't have a theater because i have a theater right there but these ones down here it does look like maybe i can get a theater down here 40 is without 55 is with so the theater offers a total of 15 points to the ones that are directly by it it doesn't overlap and doesn't double it just is just a one-time deal if it is like the healer though when we upgrade this to the grand theater we could probably have a second theater have one over here have a theater over here and a grand theater over here and get a double bonus but that is everything that you guys need to know about how i set up my houses as well as pretty much everything you need to know about decor in order to make your your towns look snazzy make them look like a you know painting drawn by one of the great masters thank you guys for joining and we will see you in the next one where i talk about why i have three layers of walls pretty much everywhere around my base here thank you guys see you in the next one